In parts of Osceola County tonight, an urgent warning from the National Guard and county officials. They are urging people to get out and evacuate, fearing even more flooding from the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. News 6's Brian Didlick is live in Kissimmee with the National Guard as they go door to door tonight. Brian. Eric, you can see why they are choosing to, t uh, to tell people to evacuate. Um, and looking around right here, the water is almost up to my knees in some places as we're standing in the street of Commander's Way in the Rosen Creek community. And over here, we have the National Guard that's helping uh, one lady leave her home. Now, she is elderly and disabled, so it's going to take some time for us to get her out of here. But, Eric, I have to tell you, these are some somber moments out here. As a, uh, Alex, if you can come back over here real quick. These are some somber moments out here as people are essentially abandoning their homes as we expect almost two feet uh, extra of water to come into this area as Osceola County officials say that the East Tahoe Lake and Lake Tahoe um, are expected to not even crest for another four days. It's the reason why officials are warning people to leave this area of the Rosen Creek, uh, the, excuse me, the, the Shingle Creek community because they don't know what's going to happen. If you look over here on this side of the street, you can see even more flooding and the waters are continuing to rise here uh, in this area. I can say that since we've been out here, uh, the water levels have at least gone up at least two inches uh, as they keep uh, creeping up onto my own clothes that we're looking at right now. And as people are evacuating the area, some people are choosing to stay, but officials again are warning people that once it gets a little too dark here, they're going to cease operations and turn off the electricity so that no nothing else can be damaged in this area. Um, but there is a silver lining. So officials are saying that they're working on it and that they're going to try their best to make sure that everyone is okay. Take a listen. All of the locks are open to move the water as fast as possible from Lake Toho down south to other areas where they have more capacity. So we are all working hand in hand, state, federal, and local officials to make sure we can get as quick as recovery and also diminish whatever negative impacts may be possible through rising waters here in Osceola County. Now, the National Guard will be out here as long as possible to help as many people as they can. But again, Eric, uh, some people are choosing to stay to see if they can wait it out. But again, we want to warn people that the water is expected to rise again two more feet from now. Eric. So many people wondering when this is going to end, Brian, and like you said in the case of that uh, lady behind you, when help is coming, and like you said, it is on the way. We'll talk to you again tonight at 11. Thank you.